Community Foundation serves the nonprofit community in a way very similar to how the Chamber of Commerce serves the business community. We're a one-stop resource for financial support and technical assistance. The core mission of the Community Foundation is to work in Somerset, Wicomico, and Worcester counties to encourage and promote charitable giving. Uh, the, the Community Foundation is the heart of this community. They have provided the nonprofit agencies in this community with the tools they need to serve those with greatest need. Well, we first learned about the Community Foundation when we were invited to a presentation about its purpose, and we were very impressed. I think the Community Foundation allows many people to contribute money to one, one good sometimes. You don't have to have a huge amount of money to participate. Um, anyone really can. The Community Foundation is a remarkable success story. We love to share with the community. Over our 24-year history, local donors have given over $55 million to our foundation. We've given back $32 million to the community in gifts, grants, and scholarships. The Community Foundation has really stepped up when we had a generous donation, a life-changing, a name-changing donation by Mr. Dick Hazel in investing $2 million and giving us finances that will sustain us for a lifetime. Two terms you'll often hear us use are leveraging and perpetuity. We hold a percentage of those funds, invest them, and that way they're going to be here to continue to do good for generations to come. One of the most rewarding parts of being a member of the Community Foundation is I've been able to develop a way that we can continue giving and we can teach our children, which we're trying to do as well, how to leave a legacy and have it impact your community directly. My father passed away uh, about six years ago with cancer. That's kind of what opened the door to me and I would recommend don't wait until a tragedy happens. Be a part of your community now. Leave your legacy now. It's been, it's been a tremendous investment as far as we're concerned and it has been very heartwarming to know that we're able to contribute to the community and that once we are not here any longer, the, the legacy of our fund will be available for the community to use in their in a way that they see fit. It makes you feel good inside when you, when you know that you've been able to support someone else who was perhaps less fortunate than you are. As part of our mission, we educate donors on needs in our community, and then we try to connect them with programs and organizations in our community that best serve their charitable interests. A lot of us are not fundraisers. We didn't know where to start. The Community Foundation helps us create a plan. The Community Foundation teaches us the steps we need to not just gather fundraisers, but gather friends, and that's probably one of the most important things that we've learned. Not only has Community Foundation assisted us financially, uh, but we have also attended their workshops, both in grant writing uh, and uh, to the community college in Salisbury. Uh, the Maryland Coastal Base Program has been here in Worcester County for 10 years, and we work with commercial and recreational fishermen, farmers, developers, scientists, and our job is to protect the coastal bays in a common sense way that everyone kind of agrees with and everyone can actually do so we can get things done in a timely manner to clean up the coastal bays. For those interested in the environment, I would definitely encourage them to get involved with the Community Foundation because they've been so good to us. Uh, for those who have an interest in conservation, whether it's wildlife, whether it's water quality, whether it's clean energy, uh, the Community Foundation is probably the place to go to put those dollars to the best use. The Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore has been a major contributor to the Sturgis One Room School Museum. When we got started, uh, the foundation uh, gave us a grant. The Sturgis One Room School Museum is an African-American one-room school. It is a part of history that we, the organization, try to preserve. History is an important part of the heritage of the Eastern Shore. If you have any kind of historical project that you're working on, I urge you to get in contact with the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. This year, we'll distribute $185,000 in scholarship awards to over 100 local students. 
Establishing a scholarship fund at the Community Foundation is an opportunity to memorialize a loved one or create a lasting legacy. Uh, in 2002, my senior year of high school, I applied for the Patent Dick Hazel Minority Scholarship through the Community Foundation. What makes this scholarship very unique is that for every year you receive it, you commit to a year of teaching on the Lower Eastern Shore, and I am in my second year teaching at Pokemon Elementary School, and I'm looking forward to the next two or more. If you have ever thought about how you can give back to your community, either with financial donations or with time, I can think of no better way than the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. One of the main thrusts of the Community Foundation in order to get money into it is through the, our professional partners. In my practice of law, I encountered several people who were looking for vehicles to create endowments and not only for themselves but for the charities of the Lower Shore. When I'm dealing with my respective clients regarding this, uh, the disposition of their estate at their death primarily and also uh, other individuals who are interested in uh, making charitable donations, I do not hesitate to discuss with them the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. As a financial planning professional, I would encourage anyone who is trying to get their estate in order to um, communicate with the Community Foundation and find out what they offer. I think the convenience is excellent, the professionalism, and to know that they're going to be here forever in perpetuity. In September of 2007, the Worcester County Developmental Center Day Program facility experienced a fire and we were totally burned out. The Community Foundation was able to raise $151,000 for us to use in our efforts to rebuild. From the technical mini grant to the trainings at the Community Foundation and not to mention of course the emergency fund after our fire. The Community Foundation has been with us through thick and thin, and we exist in part because of our relationship with the Community Foundation. Since the uh, beginning of the Community Foundation, the people that have run that have been so competent. They've always had great leadership. These are high quality people. I know a lot of the board members that serve on their, at their pleasure. And I know that the quality of those board members, and that gives the Community Foundation so much validity. A lot of the people that donated their money, they did so openly and willingly because they knew that the money was going to be held in escrow from, by the Community Foundation. For over 25 years, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore has been a powerful vehicle for community improvement on the Lower Shore, working throughout Somerset, Wicomico, and Worcester counties by motivating donors, increasing charitable giving, and providing a vehicle for philanthropists to make a real difference in our community. We have been a leader for improving the quality of life for tens of thousands of our local citizens. And thank you for taking time to learn about the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. The rest is up to you.